Gravitational field. While a force between two objects can always be computed by using the formula for Fg, it's sometimes convenient to consider one mass as creating a gravitational field and the other mass responding to that field. Another way of describing gravitational field is that it's what an object would do if placed in that location. So let's start with our equation for a force of gravity. If we separate m2 from our equation, we can change our m1 to a capital M and our m2 for a lowercase m. So the capital M describes the planet or object that is creating the gravitational field. And the lowercase m is describing the object that is responding to the gravitational field. So remember a force of gravity is the same as an object's weight. Weight is equal to mg. So here's our little m, and then g is right here. Big G, capital M over R squared. And this gravitational field is exactly what we were talking about when we said acceleration due to gravity. The magnitude of the gravitational field created by an object varies from location to location in space. It depends on the distance from the object and the object's mass. The object's mass is capital M, and the distance to the object's center is R. Gravitational field is also a vector, which means it has a direction, and its direction is always towards the object creating the field. That's the same as the direction of the force a test mass would experience if placed in that location. In fact, g is the acceleration a mass would experience if placed in that location in space. It is the acceleration due to gravity.